Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I talk about everything luxury um, and how to uh, purchase them mindfully. If you're a return viewer, thank you very much for your ongoing support. Um, and today I have two pieces of ready to wear to show you from Hermes. Now they are not in any of the original boxes and that's because I purchased them from a private sales event. It's the first time I have been invited to the private sales of Hermes. Unfortunately I didn't get to book an earlier session because I've got work to do. So by the time I attended there's not a whole lot of stocks but I did manage to find two gems. Um, they're both ready to wear. So the first one is this piece of just not you know t-shirt in the pattern um, Doré Boucle which is actually the pattern of my first very first uh, Hermes uh, 90 by 90 scarf um, and if you haven't seen that video I'll link it on the screen and in the comments down below as well um, so it's a hundred percent cotton very practical and casual look um, now and I actually didn't realize when I first got this uh, that you know it was actually of the same pattern as my first uh, Hermes scarf so that's kind of nice so you know it just shows that I do enjoy this pattern um, without even realizing it's the same pattern because um, the scarf I had was a very colorful like each of the rings um, is actually of like a different color and so it, it just didn't click to me that you know this monochromatic you know rings is actually yeah it's the same so that's a nice surprise when I actually took a look. It's 100% cotton, very well made, um, all the stitching and very smooth, um, substantial um, fret count, I would say, of the cotton. So it gives it a very smooth um, texture, um, still breathable because it's cotton, um, but it's not, you know, it's not one of those very um, low fret count rate where, you know, it's the, the cotton basically, you know, just just feels a bit rough and semi, um, semi sheer. Um, so yeah, I think it's a very well made top um, and with the discount, um, yeah, I think it's it's totally a bargain to be honest. Um, now this other wear out piece is actually something I'm so happy that I got my hands on um, for the sales uh, price because to be honest, at yeah, original price, I would not be able to justify making such a big item purchase um, it's a cashmere coat it's um i think the style is like double faced cashmere um and it's got the Mador um buttons um on the uh on the coat and i've been looking for a um a winter uh wool or cashmere coat of this length um, in black to replace um, the other one I have currently which is looking a bit you know worn out I've had the other one for many years by now so yeah it's a yeah double face cashmere um, very very soft um, and I think the original price is like more than 10,000 Australian so I just you know it's, it's just a bit much for me to pull the trigger um, whereas the sale price you know came down to quite you know it's, it's within my budget and when I compare it with other brands cashmere coat is actually very competitive pricing and it this is from Hermes um, so yeah 100% cashmere the lining is actually 85% viscose and 15% silk so not polyester lining which a lot of the times coats have um, so you can really feel the quality difference um, the you know the construction of the coat um, you know it's just so beautiful so smooth um, you've got the zipper here in the silver tone metal it's got the Hermes branding very subtle uh, engraved on it the zipper runs very smooth um, you know and yeah if just 
it just feels so luxurious um and yeah and the 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 Mador style buttons it's really something that appealed to me i don't know why it is um i seem to really like sort of geometric um symmetrical type of shapes um anyway so i've got some styling mod shots here <laughs> And now this is my um, original wool coat. It's not cashmere, um, and the lining is polyester. It's a very long uh, coat. I love the sil silhouette. Um, I've had this for more than ten years. I, it must be like fifteen years at least. Um, I bought it uh, in Hong Kong. I don't know whether the brand even existed anymore. Um, it's a European brand, they said at the time, I think it was an Italian brand, um, but um, I don't think it was made in Europe, I think it's made in China. Um, and I mean, it lasted a long time, don't get me wrong, and I loved it. Um, but just to kind of show why I need to replace it, um, it's 
it's gone through a few uh, dry cleaning processes, and and I think the last time I took it to the dry cleaners in um, in Australia, they've ruined it. Um, so by the time it came back, I mean, it was after winter, so I didn't really check it over carefully. Um, but by the time, sort of, you know. I had a chance to take a look. Um, the fabric, it's just, it's like turned into felt. So I don't know what they did with the dry cleaning process, um, which is why I, you know, I really try to avoid dry cleaning my clothes. Uh, often I would just steam clean it if it's, you know, something that cannot be hand washed. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just very disappointing. Um, that they've kind of ruined the softness of the wool, uh, woolen material of my coat. Um, but you can also see like the buckle, the, um, the metal, um, you know, I think one thing that really you can tell whether, um, the quality of the clothing is, um, you know, great or um, not so great is when you look at the metal piece um, if it comes with any metal piece you can see here the buckle completely is non-functional now because um, I don't know what happened whether it's just kind of um, became deformed over time or, or whatnot but you know the it, it, it just doesn't function well now because the um, middle, you know, um, metal part is just too short that it doesn't actually stop, um, you know, at the frame of the buckle. And so basically the belt will just become loosened because it's, it's actually not holding it. You can't cinch in the waist because, you know, the the stick is too short that it doesn't catch us at the, you know, at the metal frame. I hope I'm making sense here. I don't know which parts, you know, what, what the names of, of the different parts of the buckles are called, but, you know, you can see here, it just, it, it will just go through straight through. So it doesn't actually act as a buckle for a belt. The lining um, has uh, a hole in it. This is it from me today and until next time you all take care. Bye.